what's up everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you guys everything that you could possibly need when you're building a pc now this is going to be an extensive list you do not by any means need all of these things to build a pc um these are literally just everything i could put together by my own experience and watching a bunch of other youtube videos um for everything that you could possibly need um there might be a couple things that i didn't mention but this is a list of 20 things uh real quick though before we hop into it if you're new to supreme tech don't forget to subscribe smash that like button and turn on the post notifications uh with all that said let's get right into it all right um now the first thing that you're gonna need and this is realistically the only thing that you need is a phillips screwdriver now um i suggest getting one with a magnetic tip um if you see it's two different colors like you see how the tip here is black and the rest is silver then that's usually a magnetic tip um it trust me it's going to save you a lot of trouble especially when you're undoing those m.2 ssd screws so um magnetic tip is a must now that we got the screwdriver there's another thing i want to show you um let's hop online because i don't actually have one with me but i fix it um i fix it kits they're amazing they're the top of the line um pc tool kits now they also got other stuff for iphones um you know, drivers and kits, iPad repair kits, Android, iMac, all types of stuff. But what you, all you honestly really need is um, at least this um, Monterey driver kit for 20 bucks. But I recommend getting the ProTech tool kit for 70. That's a great deal. And these are magnetic tipped also, so you don't got to worry about that and that's i fix it all right so moving on to the next tool is going to be real simple a flashlight now um you can also use something like an overhead lamp but something that where you can move the light around in different angles um because you might think the room is lit up but i guarantee you that once you get in there and you start trying to pull stuff out it, it's pretty hard to see inside so a flashlight is a must um next we're gonna move on to something that there's a lot of different types of these right and this is going to be zip ties and velcro ties now zip ties are obviously the zip ties that you see um you got short ones long ones they all got different colors also and then the velcro ties are going to be something like this and I'll put links in the description for some really cheap ones. They're only about, what, eight bucks? Um, yeah, 80 pieces. They're different sizes. And it's for nine bucks. So hit that link in the description if you want to get some of these. Now, with them being different colors, you can use them for a lot of different things. Um, I personally use them for when I plug in my power cords and all my other cords. I'll color code them so something that's going to my um, power box is going to have one of these wrapped around the end of it and then if it's yellow say that's the power to my PC I'll put one yellow on the power and then one yellow where it plugs in to the PC you just wrap it in a little circle like that and you can color code everything. Um, now, like I said, there's a lot of different kinds. You also have ones like these that came with my case. Um, they have a little plastic ring. So when you open it up and you wrap it around something, you can wrap it through the loop. Just like that. And then it'll close however um, much you want it. But these are another kind. So we got the color-coded ones that I'm going to have a link. You got other ones with the rings on them. And then you have your classic plastic um, zip ties. Now, when you have things like zip ties in your PC, especially the plastic ones, um, when you go to clean it, you're going to want to be able to get those out. So 
what I recommend getting is a zip tie cutter. Now, these you're going to need for two reasons, really. One, for getting them out when you have them in the PC. And two, for when you zip your zip tie like this. Okay? Then you're going to have to cut off this excess. So all you got to do is cut it right there. And that's what it's going to leave you with. I'm sorry if you can't really see it. That's what you need them for, zip tie cutters. That's the next thing on the list. Uh, moving on after that, we got double-sided tape. Um, especially if you're doing something with a solid-state drive or um, RGB controllers, fan controllers, anything that you want to stick to something, double-sided tape is the way to go. I'll leave a link for a good option for you in the description. Um, I'll also leave links for everything I'm mentioning. Just check them out down below. After that, we got electrical tape. This is your best friend sometimes. Um, even without building PCs, this is really good. Um, you got to have the electrical type of tape, especially if you're dealing with wires. You don't want to put duct tape or scotch tape, anything like that, masking tape. You always want to use electrical tape. All right. So moving on after electrical tape, just keep an extra fan in your toolbox because if you want to check a fan header on the PC um, or the motherboard rather, you want to just you don't want to have to take out a fan, you know, keep plugging it back in. You want to have one that you can test that you know works, and it's going to be a good help to you. Trust me. So if you happen to have one, um, just put it in your toolbox. Um, or, you know, buy a cheap one online if you feel like it. So it's just a great way to check headers. Now, after that, we're going to have another thing that you're going to want to get, which is a USB flash drive. So having a USB drive is great for software, drivers, firmware, and BIOS programs. Um, you just download them to the USB drive. And then you plug it in. So after the USB drive, we got a rotary tool. Now, the rotary tool is kind of for, you know, DIYing stuff. It's more for custom builds and, you know, say you got to sand something down or cut out a piece of the PC um, or shave down a motherboard. If you know what you're doing, um, that's what a rotary tool is for. Because you can cut, carve, engrave, polish, and detail. Um, you can also sand with it. So a rotary tool is a really good tool to have. Next thing on our list, guys, is going to be a voltage tester. Now, this one I have here literally is just a light bulb with the positive and negative tongs. And it checks for power. If the light lights up, then there's power. Um, what I recommend getting is one of these. Okay, this one is a digital multimeter volt tester, um, volt ohm amp meter. So what it does is it measures AC DC voltage, DC current, um, not AC current for this specific one, resistance, continuity, diodes, and more. Uh, moving on, we got thermal paste. Okay, thermal paste is just obviously exactly what it says it's to protect against heat um you use this on your cpu when you're installing the cooler on top this kind right here is from corsair it's tm30 performance thermal paste this thing i think costs about eight bucks at best buy um i'll put links for other ones on amazon in the description uh moving on guys i got an anti-static bracelet here okay you don't know what it is it's basically you strap this to your wrist okay and then you clip the clip onto um, your power supply with it in the off position so what it does it just basically protects against static shock and um, ruining your components from static electricity so moving on to the next one and this is honestly 
one of my favorite ones of the list. It's a lifesaver. It is a magnetic wand. Okay. All it is, it just pulls out, you know, like a car antenna. Um, I use this when I work on my car also. But this is a lifesaver. It's a magnet on one end. And if you drop a screw, you just go in and it picks it right out. You will not know how much you need this thing until you buy it and you use it. I'm telling you. Uh, I got this one at O'Reilly's Auto. You can get them at any auto parts store, Walmart, um, Shopco, things like that. Uh, moving on, guys, we got isopropyl alcohol. And another thing that goes with this is Q-tips. Um, I do it very uh, delicately. I see some people online. They just go in with it, spraying it all over the place. I like to be careful and spray the tips of the Q-tip and then just wipe it down. But isopropyl alcohol, great for taking off thermal paste, sticky residue from stickers, the other double-sided tape, electrical tape. One thing I should have mentioned way earlier in the video is a magnetic bowl. Um, this along with this magnetic wand are some of the best tools you can use because this keeps all your screws in here. So moving on to the last two things. Um, one of them is going to be some type of dental floss pick. Um, this is great for, you know, grabbing wires, uh, but you, what you want to do is file down the tip so it's not extremely sharp because um, you don't want to damage any components. Now last but certainly not least is going to be a 24 pin jumper cable. So this is just basically a power supply tester. Um, it just goes from the power. It has one cord from the power to the ground and that's it. It's to just test your PSU. Um, it's 24 pin ATX power supply jumper bridge tool. That's what it's called. So I got a link right here. You can check out. Um, it's only what six bucks. So that's the last thing on the list guys. I just wanted to show you everything I could possibly think of that you might need while building a PC slash cleaning it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video helped you out. And if you're new, again, don't forget to subscribe to Supreme Tech. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one.